for it. I didn't have the chance to read upon it. I just picked a book this morning, uh, uh, communication, uh, Toastmaster book. And I'm going to read off the paper I got. Hopefully, it will make some sense for us uh, all together. It's a project for the coach. Basically, we have been coached or we coached someone. There are some few points I liked. That some of us are involved in management at work. If not, you are involved at home teaching your kids. And hopefully these uh, points will help us to develop our more interpersonal skills as well as uh, coaching skills. So I'm going to read off the paper, what I have. Then we can share the information. If you have any comments or concerns, we can talk about that one too. Like I said, this this speech is supposed to be about 15 minutes. So I need to pick up a partner, you know, practice with them. I didn't have the time. The first par portion of uh, this project is benefits of coaching. It says, when people function efficiently and effectively, everyone benefits. Your job, whether it, whether it is as employer, parent, or club president, is easier. Responsibilities are shared. Tasks are completed properly and productivity increases. People feel good about themselves because they are working to the best of their abilities. Everyone feels part of the team. They know what they are supposed to do, how they are supposed to do it, and how their work affects the achievements of the group's goal. Coaching plays an important part in helping people function effectively and efficiently. Through coaching, people learn what is expected from, what is expected of them, their current performance level, and where they must improve. Important information, they need to do their best. Coaching is your opportunity to help someone do their best. So those are the benefits of coaching. Some of you, I know, Jen is especially involved in the coaching process. So she may practice on the daily basis. The next portion of this article or the speech is where to start, how to start coaching. We all do the best of our knowledge sometime, I don't know much, but I start coaching people because it's easy. It says, before you speak with a person whose performance is uns unsatisfactory, you must do some research Usually people don't perform well for one of these reasons. Poor training. Nobody ever showed, showed them or told them how to do the work properly. So it can be related to the job performance. It can be related to we deal with the kids at home. Inadequate equipment. They don't have the right materials or equipment. Third is time. They don't have the time to do the work properly. Motivation. They feel overworked and underappreciated or are unhappy with the job. Co-workers, management, friends, or family. They are not motivated to perform. So those are the four or five points you should consider before you start coaching someone. You must determine which of these reasons apply to the situation. Asking yourself the following question may help you determine which reason applies. Whether coaching is needed to solve the problem and if it is, what your coaching session should address. So they have several points, I'm gonna read through them. The first one is, does the person know what is supposed to be done and when? If not, you will need to tell him or her. 
what is the specific difference between the present performance level and the desired performance level? The person needs to know what he or she must do to perform satisfactorily. Does the person, person know his or her performance is not satisfactory? If not, provide feedback. Is the performance standard realistic? If it is not, no, no one will be able to perform to your expectations. So make sure your expectations are reasonable. What impact does the performance problem have? The person should know how poor performance affects others. Does positive performance yield positive rewards? If the person performs well and receives an undesirable reward for doing so, twice as much work to do in less time, for example, the person's incentives to perform decreases. Could the person do the job if he or she wanted to? If not, coaching will not help. Once you have analyzed the situation and decided that the person could perform to your expectations, if he or she really wanted to, you are ready to begin your coaching session. So those are the several points. We live our life every day. We have been coached. We went out with people. So maybe you can pick one or two points and practice in your daily life. That's all I have. Thank you very much.